Hello, and welcome back to Cardinal Yard Time. This is part 4 of the Minecraft plugin series. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to modify the scoreboard in Minecraft. The scoreboard is basically the, the box on the right side of your screen, which is used to display like scores or any other useful information. And also, if you haven't watched the first three parts of the series, and uh, make sure to watch those, or else you won't understand this video. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So I recently I've switched to 1.17. This means that I deleted my old 1.16 data file and got the latest 1.17 one. And I've also switched to Java 16 because 1.17 needs Java 16 to run. And I've also switched um, the JDK on my IntelliJ to JDK 16. And I've also changed the dependency jar file to the 1.17 one. So the first thing you want to do is create a class for a scoreboard. So right click on our main package and create a Java class. And let's call it player scoreboard. And then in this uh, class, we want to create a method that will add a player into the scoreboard. For example, like a player joins the server and you want them to see the scoreboard, right? So whenever a player joins, we call this method and then that will make the player see the scoreboard. So to do that, let's create a method in this class. Let's call it public static void show scoreboard. And, and we want a player as like argument. Let's import this class. And here is where we create our scoreboard. So basically, let's first get the scoreboard manager. And this will get our scoreboard manager, which is used to create scoreboards. So let's create one. Scoreboard equals manager that get you. So there, and let's input this class. So now we have a new scoreboard. So basically how this works is that in a scoreboard, we can add objectives. And in those objectives, we can add like scores. So an objective is like a header and there's like different types of objectives. And basically, we're gonna be using an objective like the server name. And in those objective, we're gonna be adding like um, different scores for like different like stats of the player. So basically, I'm gonna like create a new objective. A new objective. Objective is equal to register new objective. And using this, we can register an objective. And basically, we have to enter in three strings. And so the first one is basically like the internal name. And this won't be seen by any players. So we can just call it so the name. And then the next one is gonna be the type of objective we're using. There's actually a list of all the available objectives on this like fandom website. So there's like a dummy one, a trigger one, a death count, a player kill count, total kill count, health, XP level. There's a lot of all these things which like people can use. And um, I'm gonna be using the dummy one. And this is because we're gonna be using this objective as a server name. So we don't really need any of these. We just want a simple dummy one that's not gonna be changed. So, I'm just gonna make one called dummy. And then here is gonna be the display name of the objective. So in our case, it's just gonna be a server name. So I'm just gonna call it, I'm just gonna color it first. Maybe like aqua would be nice. And then, I'm gonna say 
colors silver and that like creates a new objective and next what we want to do is we have to set where this objective should be so we do objective dot set display slot and basically the display slot is where you want this to be shown in our case we want this to be shown in the like a uh, scoreboard which will mean um display slot dot sidebar there's also these there's like a playlist which is basically like the sidebar and there's also a below name which i believe is like shown under your name tag but we want the sidebar and after we set an objective on this play slot now we can actually add the scores so we just do objective dot get score um we can add um any like text we want so i'm just gonna make like a nice line maybe like this i think that'll be nice like right after the other uh, server so name we'll see like these like big line and then so next we have to like actually set the number that comes after it in minecraft like after every score you want to have like a number and like the score is actually the scoreboard is actually ordered from like from greatest to least of these numbers so if we want like a list of like stuff you want to have a higher number that like keeps going down like the first item will be three and then the next item will be two and it will like go down like that so i'm just gonna add say like set score like three so now we can like add two more items after this so let's add another score objective dot get score and i guess for this one we can do like um like the damage we did so like how much damage we hit onto another like mob so we can do damage dealt and i'm gonna color that in like trap color mm, you're like green maybe and then damage dealt Plus to that game maybe plus so to get like a player statistic we do p dot like get statistic statistic dot yeah so there's damage dealt and what this will do is that it will like get the amount of damage dealt to another mob player and it will display it like after these this line and then you can like set this score you have to set it to two so like first this will come and then the one that's like even lower than three which is two so this will come next so for the one like oh i can actually do like the player name so player name so normally you would want to like change these to whatever you want. I'm just doing this as an example, but you can change these to what your server needs. So here, got name, get name. And let's set this file to one. And so now we should have the scoreboard. And the last thing we really have to do is actually set like give the player the scoreboard so we just do player dot set scoreboard board and that's basically it and this will actually create a scoreboard that will have these like properties to it and the player gets assigned this scoreboard so what we have to do now is actually like when a player joins we want to add this like player to the scoreboard so we just do on player join player scoreboard dot show scoreboard to this player 
And if you're wondering how we like have all this code ready for us, this was actually covered in like part three. Yeah, the last part where we did events and that's where we added like the welcome listener and the block break listener. So um if you want to like see how we got like this on play join part, just watch the previous video. And so yeah, now all that's left for us is to test this out. So I'm gonna build this. So press build, build all the facts, and build. And this will um, build our like plugin into a gun file. So you can like drag it into our server. And there it is. And now I'm just gonna start up our server. Okay, so the server is actually started. And so let's test this out. And there we go. And in the server, and as you can see, we have like our um like scoreboard right there. You can see like the our server name, and um we have like our damage dealt, which is which is already pretty high because like so there's already like some damage that's already been done, and um I'm. So let's see if it increases. So I'm gonna summon a pig. Okay, and there's a pig here. And let's see if like the damage increases. I'm gonna hit it. So as you can see, I'm actually like hitting the pig, but like the damage is not increasing. This is because that we ha we're not updating like the scoreboard. So like, we're actually hitting the pig, but the damage is not being updated. And um, I'll show you guys how you can update this folder in the next video. But if you look at this and when I disconnect, and then I re and try to reconnect, now if you look at it, the damage has like increased. This is because like the scoreboard is not updating in real time, but the number is actually updating. And when you leave and rejoin, the account like is updated. So in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can like make animated scoreboards. So you don't have to like disconnect and reconnect for it to work and it will just like update while you're in the game. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. So yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll be making like a lot more tutorials um, on this series. So yeah, stay tuned for those. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.